Hello. Hello, hello. ba bus bệt mỏi lắm em nó đi ra được rồi em ơi em pha thế bên kia luôn lại lại nào hello ta đầu mình có định stream đâu nhưng mà thấy gọi thấy là lên mình đánh là tôi stream luôn cho mọi người xem vì là mình biết là đây mình không có nhiều không không cho nhiều người xem có lẽ nick này nó cũng không kết nối với lại facebook vì vậy là mình live stream còn với bác tali thì mọi người có thể thấy thấy rồi này dừng để ít đúng không? Cái này lên có thể ăn được, có thể ăn Bạn đi vào chúng tôi Được rồi, được không? Không được không? Ăn được rồi Good job bro over the past few seasons yesterday was end of season i believe a few people in the top 50 played it pompeo actually finished first in the world with a balloon deck so obviously balloon is fairly strong in the meta right now and this one is one of my personal favorites obviously he's got the xc nato which i enjoy very much yeah we're just gonna hop into the replays all right so this first replay right here up against a guy named t taylor this is a fairly hard matchup obviously i only have zap i do have uh nato and um, XC, so I am able to deal with this three must fairly well. However, I don't have Miner in starting hand. He starts with the pump, so I'm forced to go with a balloon in the pocket here as I don't have Miner anywhere in sight. And he does have a minion horde and an ice spirit, so obviously the perfect counter for the, him there. I tried to pull the minion horde away with the tornado, which normally works, but because he played the ice spirit, I wasn't able to successfully do that. So now I was like, okay, I lost, whatever. And I'm actually gonna skip forward a little bit right now. I do get a good Miner off onto his pump. Um, but this deck, this deck does go far into overtime, so that's why I'm playing on a two times speed. It is a very long grind out to the end. Miner's pumped on the left side. Obviously, this is very standard stuff. I zap, so it gets another hit with the miner, and I can get some chip damage with the tower. Good ice spirit there catches most of the minion horde, and the ice golem just to clean that up. He does go with three musk here, so I pull him onto the same lane. Actually, don't pull him onto the same lane there. Kind of a strange play, maybe I could have. Um, so he goes with the Dark Prince, I go with Zap, I go Mine on the left side, and see, he gets a lot of chip damage on the right side with the two musk guys. Two musk, even with an Executioner on defense and an Ice Golem, it's really not gonna be that successful at defending it. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Executioner actually doesn't have that much HP. So obviously on this push, I do pull him onto one lane. I decided to go with the balloon here because he did use his three musketeers, but he's going to be able to play a minion horde. I'm gonna be able to zap three of them, however the balloon does not make it to tower. 
which is fairly unfortunate. The Exodus stay alive, but it's gonna go down in the tower. Another tornado on the Three Musketeers. Sorry if I'm talking a little bit quickly, but you know, I wanna catch up with the replay. So good ex execution replacement on that. Gotta splash those Three Musketeers, guards, and the Ice Spirit on the Bandit, but the Bandit does catch on the King Tower, so we able to pull it. Um, another Bandit and Dark Prince push right here. Not one that I would really recommend because it allows me to get a very good counter push with my executioner. We do pull the um, the, the musketeers over to the opposite lane. Maybe a bit of a strange set of play there. I believe I was thinking of going with a balloon on the right side. However, I didn't end up going that. And I do decide to tank the Dark Prince there. I pull the um, the musketeers way over, and with one HP, our balloon takes the tower. Our tower was at 100. He had two, three muskies on, and actually our other tower was at that. Um, was that 600, 700? I'm just talking quickly because that replay went pretty fast. But yeah, that was our win there with one of the hardest counts. Hi, Rato. Eh, to con kai wo tora gishi ikun desu kedo. To ma deki o kochira no mirror desu de yaro to omoshimasu. To ma. 前回までのスケラでトラビしたんですけどやっぱずっとね全曲かけても飽きるんで僕は結構飽きそうなんでこちらのミラーで一気をで結構もう何回か試してまあ勝率いいってわけじゃないですけど別に悪くもないんでただまあウルトラが結構カウントしてるんでそこは強みかなということでマルチいきますであと少しでシーズン終わっちゃうんでそれまでにあげたいですねよろしくスペルがトレネウッドのミラーなんで削っていかないとあとあと削りきれないっていうのがよくあるんでそうっすねもう初めから結構攻めきでしかも回転早いんで、まあ、ミスはどうにかなるのでこれ美味しいですねあーこれコウモリの穴掘りいきたいですけどちょっとやんちゃは我慢ですね初めからセブンで言ってたんですけどでここはとりあえずカード回してやばいやばいちょっと待ってあー危ない OK あもう誘導が残ると美味しいんですまあまあまあまああの振りだけで十分成功のダメージをでとりあえずまあまあまあ、まあ、相手は多分ゴレプリプリのトレネーザップだとポンプだと思うんですねいや知らないですけど知らないですけど多分そうだと思うんでただトルネー穴掘りをこっちに出したら右に出すとトルネードで触れちゃうんですよねキングになんでここでもう一回穴掘り出してこれは以来でしょうかよしおいしいでこれ言うのがいけオッケーお前優秀ああオッケーまさかはいゴレプリプリのご両親マジでしんどいんであんた押さえれないんで結構もう攻めてみたらいいかわかりますあーニコとって1個あげるのが理想っすけどそれも微妙っすねこれやばいこれやばいっすこれもう,うわやばいっすよねとりあえずこのとりあえずプリンセスを2体出さないとこのゲーム勝てないんでこのゲーム勝てないというかこのデッキ勝てないんでいや、これはもう美味しいこれはもう美味しいああちょっと待ってえっオッケーえっやばくないですかこれ自分でもびっくりするぐらい綺麗に守れてだってこれも穴掘り出してあとはこれプリンセスミラーしたら4体になるんではいいうのの突進いや美味しいっすねしかもこれとかもこれゴーレムをトレネで動かしてさらにこうトレネで動かしてあげたりこんなことしてるだけでもてかもう送らせてあげれば間に合わないんでそうですねまあふざけてるようですけどこれは真剣なんでこれ,これトルネードで永遠後ろ下げてればもうゴールも端当たってこれないんでいやーあんぱいですねはい次で何がしんどいんだろうなこれクロスがやっぱきついのと58人でこっち大体今600位なんでまだまだ
だろうやっぱクロスと確実クロスの確実やっぱ置き物系がしっかりしてえーどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんあ、まあ、荒掘りできてもここしかないんだ。結果守られるっていうのが、うん、むずるか。うわぁ、ランバーホールで、ね。これ初め起動したかったけど、ここにないんだ。やだこいつがめっちゃ殴るんだよ。あと、縦線とインドラが多分入ってるんで。インドラ腐らせれますけど、これ一発、ああ。おいやぁ、来るのね。これは相手取れるのないんでわはーそんなことありますかやりますね君君やりますねやっぱそれでスタートかやだやだえちょっと待っておそんな2体止めてくれるおいしいハエボ削りとかできるんでいやーしんどいっすねそれこっからっすよね問題が削れないんでもう一回奥にあのフリーズあーまあまあまああこれはいおいしいで一回プリンミラーでやりたいっすよあっおいいやだやだアイスのいい感じするんですけどね、これ。なんでこれ、もう、ここをガッツリ取り。これ立てるタイプがすごい美味しいですね。使わないむずいっすね、なんか。勝てそうだけど勝てないもん、マジしんどいやつ。これ、あと立てるタイプがすごい美味しいです。あっそのターゲット。相手これフォームに殺せないのかなそうですね。では、あー危ないでもランバーが奪われるんですよ。ランバーがちょっとリーズが。これは縦に入ってくるね。ピタッと。相手これ焦ってくる。相手焦ってくる。よっしゃオッケーオッケーお前優秀また来るまた来ちゃうけどまあまあまあやばいナンバーのランバーがやばいやばいやばいいいっすねこれはもう8枚に出しておいしいうわやばいしゃしゃったしゃしゃったしゃしゃったみたいやだやだいやお前は耐えろよいしょでも一回内側からのプリンセスあっはい、じじ。おげ。いやー、いいっすねー。もうグッドゲーム。2連勝。いや、珍しい。